we've had a great off season. Our kids love the weight room. Um, they really get after it in there. And, and so I think our strength is uh, as good as I've ever had at United. And I think that's uh, a great positive for us. Well, our, quarter, our backup quarterback last year was Trent Newburn and he had ACL surgery and uh, he's still not 100%. And so, um, you know, not sure how that was gonna go. So we thought, okay, well, let's have plan B ready to go and, and put Grant there. And, and he's done a good job. And Trent has uh, played some receiver and slot for us last year and did a real good job there. So um, that's what went into the decision. And, uh, you know, so they're, they're both doing pretty good right now. Because he's a two-year starter at receiver and slot, he already knew what our offense was. He knew every position. Um, so now it was just take, learning to take a snap. But as far as X's and O's and stuff and what everybody's doing, he was, he was already in the know on that. We got Lincoln Ermson at fullback. He was our leading rusher last year, so he returns. We have two really good offensive linemen coming back, Payne Brereton and Cole Ellison. They got to anchor the uh, up front. And I think uh, Ward Kiko is going to step up this year as a senior and do a great job. We have Brock Rhodes, Hayden Castle, like I said, Ward, um, Trent in there. And I think uh, Nick Hargrove's a returning senior. I think it's going to be more of a, a by committee. You know, instead of having one main guy, we're going to have four, four, four really good athletes. Cade Marshall, our returning t uh, tackler from last year, is back at Mike Linebacker. He's always a junior. And uh, so he's going to anchor our, our defense. And then we still have Payne and Lincoln back on the defensive line. Our secondary. Um, we have a lot of kids with experience. Grant's the only true returning starter, but we have a lot of good young athletes vying for positions there. We start off with Minerva, which is right down the road. They're a much bigger school than us, so that's highlighted for us. We gotta get off to a good start, one and zero. But uh, Crestview's game three, and you know Coach Cusick always does a great job over there. Uh, our first league game is Valley Christian with Coach Hake. I, I, uh, I think that could be a sleeping monster there with Coach Hake. And then we finish up with Southern, which. Um, you know, they put uh, the last two years, especially two years ago when these kids were sophomores, they put a pound into us. So that's in the back of their mind and they're gunning for that one game 10.